right, guys, welcome to lick number 10. This is a familiar type lick that we do at iMusic Academy. A lot of the time you guys are doing this. It's actually at the end of Blues Volume 1, but now we're, we're extending the line to make sure you can play all the way up and down the keyboard. No matter what key you're in, it's going to be the same fingering. And what we're going to do is just talk about the way and the importance of the connection of being able to play it all the way uh, up and down the keyboard. And it's just one simple trick that you have to ma make sure you pay attention to. So as we go ahead and, and work on the lick, we're looking at the third up to the root. Notice my fingering is going to be uh, one, five, one, crossover with my second finger chromatically. And then I go the ninth up to the flat seven. So one and two and three and four and one and notice that the fingering is going to be the same all the way through one five one two one five one two one five one two five one two one and I could keep going down the keyboard no problem right but here we go let's go ahead and make sure we know where the beats line up the left hand and then I'll show you make sure you understand the trick here we go one and two. That minor third E flat goes with the E. So one and two and three and the G lines up with the D. One and two and three and four chromatically down. And the C's line up together. One and two and three and four and one and two. The B lines up with the E. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now here's the import one of the important parts that you have to remember is that we've been going down chromatically and now we're going to cross over a whole step down to going down to that A flat. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so we went down a whole step and that, that sets us up for the fifth which is G against the C one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four now we have to cross over one more time with the whole step minor third to major third and then it starts over again one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four chromatically i mean a whole step down and then we end back up on the e which is the third up to the root two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and i could keep going down the keyboard with that same exact pattern but let's go ahead and, and make sure that I tell you guys where exactly all of the beats line up with the left hand one and two and that's the first one the E flat and the G's with the D C's are together one and two and three four and one and two and the E is with the B one and two and three four and one and two and three and four the G is with the B flat there two and three and four and one and two and three and four and the C and the uh, C with the G one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four F is with the G the F sharp with the E line up. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And then it starts over again. Whole step. Whole step. And then you can just keep repeating it over and over. All right, so let's do that one more time and then we'll... Um, We'll go, we'll be done. I can't believe it. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and 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 three and four. 
Now you guys might wonder, why do I keep uh, lining up every single beat with the left hand? Well, I think you probably already know the answer because that is one of the things that uh, trips a lot of people up is how do you get the hands working together? And the answer is, is repetition and really focusing on small sections you guys have the sheet music for for this example and all of the examples but i i like to think to break things down the first thing we did is one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one notice that we got to the c's together it, that is success right there if we can get there one and two and three and four and one. That's a great section to practice. Let's see if we can get that far. One and two and three and four and one and two and so I could even practice this part the next part as a section by itself. Right? One and two and three and and two and three and even right hand only. If I could do it right hand only. <laughs> One and two. So then I put those two sections together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. And I'm not saying that you're going to get this overnight, but here's what I do know is that if you repeat these things over and over, even this one little section right here of getting used to using one, five, one, two, one, five, and you get used to that, and then you say, well, let's put that on, on the key of F, third up to the root ninth flat seven so then you start to have all of the, these ideas that you can use if you're playing a C blues right and you need that you go do, da, do, 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 da. and then you go to the chord the F chord And the other thing about that, guys, is that uh, so you have all of this uh, ammunition and things that you can use. Ammunition, maybe that's not the right word, but you have all these vocabulary ideas and all these licks. And the most important thing is that you have fun with all this, think in small steps, put it all together, have fun. And I will see you guys in the next video.